Hey guys and welcome to day... I don't know what day it is, but welcome to another video of Lipstick Week. I hope you're enjoying it so far. I love lipsticks and I love doing Lipstick Week for you guys. So I really hope that you find it helpful and interesting and that you enjoy it as much as I do. Today I'm doing another swatch and review. It's going to be on the NYX Lingerie Push Up Lipsticks. I've been really into like crayon style lip products lately. I just find I reach for them so much more often. They're so easy to apply. I don't like wearing lip liner. This kind of does the job of a lip liner and a lipstick. I'm going to be doing a swatch and review on these today. I do have six of the shades. It's going to be like my usual swatch and review videos. Let's start with the swatches. Review will be at the end, so stay till the end if you want to hear my thoughts on the formula. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy this video and let's just go ahead and get started. If you're at this portion of the video, you are here for the review. Also, I hope that my eyes didn't scare you in the close-ups because they are incredibly bloodshot. I cannot tell if it's the mascara, the lashes, the lash glue, or the eyeliner. I don't know what it is. I can't tell. First of all, I love these lipsticks. I think this might be my new favorite lipstick formula. I don't think I've ever liked a lipstick more than this formula. I like them even more than I like the liquid lipstick form. Liquid lipsticks are good, but they're just not as good as these. Incredibly opaque and pigmented. All of the shades in the range are all pretty much the same as the liquid lipsticks. I picked some that I had the same in liquid lipsticks, like Seduction, which I'm wearing on my lips right now, is also in their liquid lipstick line that I purchased. Same with Exotic, but they're not the same color, so I kind of like that NYX did this. Now I can wear both and not feel like I'm duplicating my lipstick collection. They're supposed to be like lip plumping, and they do kind of have that tingling sensation. They smell a little bit like mint. Yeah, kind of like peppermint or something. They do have that minty smell. And I do feel like they tingle and feel cooling on your lips, but I don't notice any plumping, except I feel like I can overline my lips a little bit more with these and it doesn't look like I've overlined my lips. There's something about the formula that makes it really easy to make your lips look bigger. Every time like I see myself wearing one of these shades, I just feel like my lips look bigger. And I don't think it's the plumping, I think it's the formula and the fact that you can overline without it being obvious. The other thing is that they do come with a sharpener, like the bottom piece pops off and you can sharpen them if you wanna get a pointy end to the lipstick. I don't mind it being rounded because I don't know. That's fine for me. I, like, I don't really mind it. I love the way they feel on my lips. After the cooling sensation kind of disappears, they just feel like nothing. They do transfer just like very slightly. Like there's like a little bit of like a mark there on the back of my hand. The staying power is also really, really good. I feel like I can wear these for an entire day, like a 12 hour day. The only thing is I feel like it's for specific shades. Like seduction that I'm wearing right now lasts forever on my lips. Like I can wear this 
keep it on for the next 12 hours, eat, drink, do whatever I want, and it's still it will still be on my lips at the end of the day. Same thing with Bedtime Flirt. Exotic doesn't really do that. I feel like Exotic is a little bit more creamy than the other ones. Like it just feels a little bit less matte and powdery and more creamy, almost like a demi matte. Same thing with French Made. I feel like this one doesn't last as long either. They're gonna fade nicely as well. Like they're not going to kind of wear away in a awkward way. They aren't gonna look weird at the end of the day and they're just so good. I honestly cannot think of one bad thing about the, these lipsticks. They feel a little bit dry. I guess that could be like a downside. They feel a little bit dry on my lips, but not that dry. Maybe if you are really sensitive to drier formulas, you might not like these, but I find that I'm okay and I don't find them super drying on my lips at all. Finish is also beautiful. Like they've got that beautiful powder matte finish to them. I'm so glad that NYX came out with these products. I've been really liking these. I think they might be, like I don't want to say they're my favorite formula, but I feel like they might be my favorite formula of lipsticks currently, like at the moment. Just so good. Like I really cannot think of one bad thing about these. They're probably between eight and $11, depending on where you buy them from. And they come with 1.5 grams of product. Those are my thoughts on these lipsticks. I love them. As you can tell, Just so good. I would totally recommend you pick them up if you haven't tried them. Just pick up like one shade, one or two shades, just test it out. Kind of just want to do the transfer test again because I feel like they've dried down even more since I applied them and that they're even more transfer proof. So let's see. Yeah, they pretty much don't transfer at all. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoy the rest of lipstick week. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Please subscribe if you would like to see more videos and I will see you tomorrow.